I was in the pool yesterday. Were you? Uh, I got to say some thanks to some friends that uh, allow us to come <laughs> over with the kids. Yeah, we had a good time. And, it, you know, tomorrow uh, and Tuesday, a little more cloud cover. So okay. we may not necessarily hit 90, but it is still going to be very, very uncomfortable. Right. So heat index, I think, still peaks around 100 in a lot of backyards tomorrow. Let's uh, give you the latest. Look at this. Uh, our hottest July 1st in six years. 90 plus over a good portion of central Indiana. Plenty of hazy sunshine to go around. And now we're kind of watching this line of thunderstorms across parts of Illinois. We will get the leftovers from this after 8 p.m. We could have something that pops ahead of it. Uh, but it should cross the state line sometime around 8, 9 o'clock. If it holds together what's left of it, we're thinking metro area perhaps around, uh, say, 10, 11 o'clock. Now, we could have storms again that may develop in advance of that line. So it's fair game that something could develop in this uh, high humidity that we have. And whatever does crank, it is going to produce some uh, locally heavy rain amounts. This is the story, though, of the next several hours. Those heat index numbers still near and above 100 degrees. The risk of severe storms, for the most part, if we do get any severe thunderstorm warnings, likely would be west-northwest of Indy. So it's possible, if you're watching us in Crawfordsville, Lafayette, Peru, perhaps, before this line weakens. But there is at least a little hope of some storms to move through. We had downtown, a little narrow storm that moved through this morning produced about a 10-minute deluge. So that's possible as we go through tonight. Don't be shocked if you hear some rumbles of thunder tonight and into tomorrow morning. It's fair game anytime tomorrow. Something could pop up. 90 right now, as hot as 93 officially at the airport. 85 is our average high. We're going to be above that mark the next several days. A hot, uncomfortable evening. Scattered storms around at times tonight and at times tomorrow. Doesn't mean it'll be a washout. A little more cloud cover around, so I don't think we're going to hit 93, but I will tell you this. At times, it's certainly going to feel that warm as we get into the afternoon. And again, some spots are going to have a heat index close to 100. Here's future track 13 for your Monday. It's scattered storm coverage, so not every backyard is going to see it. And then the axis likely will set up to across southern Indiana tomorrow night. We'll see additional thunderstorms around on Tuesday. It's going to be equally as uncomfortable. And then as we get in the middle part of the week, keep close tabs on uh, Wednesday, which is 4th of July. It is going to be hot, a slight storm chance, and forecasting a high of about 93 degrees. If you're coming downtown for the IPL Freedom Blast sunset, by the way, at 916, a thunderstorm or two possible in central Indiana. It doesn't mean that it's necessarily going to be likely, but we will certainly keep you posted. Uh, you need to plan on uncomfortable humidity for not only the 4th, but also on Thursday. Scattered storms, more numerous, it looks like Friday, and that will kind of be the change from this really uncomfortable heat to more comfortable air next weekend and every, everything holds Saturday and Sunday looking really nice but we're gonna be sweating out big time next I was gonna say, days. I've kept an unofficial tally in my head you've said uncomfortable yeah about eight we're times trying to pound that in that we're forecast. trying to pound it in <laughs>